The speed of your WordPress website matters for a lot of reasons. It affects how users interact with your site, how long they may stay before they move on to another website, and its ranking factor on Google. So if your site is loading slowly or you don't even know what your site speed is, here's how you can find it and improve it. There are a few different ways that you can check for your site speed, and one of them is by using PageSpeed Insights. This is a free tool that you can use, and I will link it down below in the description if you want to check it out. But all you need to do is enter your web page URL. I just use my homepage. You don't need to link to a blog post or something like that. And once it's done loading, you're going to get two different page speed scores. You're going to get one for mobile and you're going to get one for desktop. Each is pretty important, but to me, mobile is what is most important because for me personally, that is where people interact with my site the most. And you can find where people interact with your site the most on your Google Analytics. I've been doing a lot of work on my website to make it faster. And right now my mobile is honestly not where I want it to be, but I think a lot of that has to do with my theme, which is something that I'm going to be changing here pretty soon. Your theme is going to play a major factor in how your site loads. So one of the reasons that mine loads so slowly is because it has this massive image to load onto the page. So if I go to my home page here, you can see this loads really fast on computer, but this big image is going to need to load that fast on mobile as well. And it's not something that can load very quickly. However, on desktop, my speed is way faster, but this right here is still what's slowing down my site and largest contentful paint just means the biggest thing that it needs to load on your screen, which is this massive photo. So you really want to be careful when you're picking out a website theme. The only problem that I have with this page speed insights is it's kind of hard to understand what they're even asking you to fix. The largest contentful paint, I just recently learned what that meant. Cumulative layout shift, I just recently learned what that means. You can scroll down and see other things like reduce unused JavaScript. Consider reducing or switching the number of WordPress plugins loading unused JavaScript, but then you have to do some code in the Chrome dev tools that I don't even know how to get to in order to figure out what plugins are actually what's slowing you down and unused CCS. I didn't realize I was using that much CCS. Like there is a lot of things on here that you're going to probably have to Google because they're so confusing to figure out what in the world is actually going on. But I have a fix for that that we're going to talk about in a minute. The next way you can get to this information is by downloading a plugin called SiteKit. And even if you don't want it for the speed checker, I recommend downloading this plugin anyway, because it has a lot more information on it than just a speed checker. This is like an all in one Google tool for your website. It saves you from having to download a lot of other plugins because it's an all in one. So you can have Google Analytics linked up to this and see your traffic. You can see what content is ranking on Google and what keywords are bringing you the most traffic and impressions. You can see your speed, which we're going to talk about in a minute. And if you have Google ads, which I do not you can see how much money is being generated by each page and how much in general you are generating. So recommend that you download this plugin regardless, but you can also get access to the page speed insights from here as well. Now, this isn't really going to help you if you don't understand what's happening on page speed insights. This is just a quicker way to figure out how the speed is on your site versus going to this website here. You can just find it from this plugin. Now let's talk about my favorite way to understand what is going on with your site and how to speed it up. This is what actually helped me speed up my site because I could understand what was wrong to begin with. However, it takes a bit to get access to because it is not just a speed tool. It is actually an ad network called a Zoic. In my opinion, Azoic is way better than Google Ad Network because there is a lot more features on here that you can get access to. There are levels that you can go up to make more money when you get higher page views. And there is a speed tracker, which we're going to talk about in a minute. To get access to the basic level of Azoic, they don't have any more requirements, which is nice because they used to. And now they've just changed it to levels so that the more page views you get, the more money you can make, the more you go up in levels. So I'm going to leave a link to them down below in the description if you're interested in checking them out. But let's get to this. This leap tool. So you just access it right here by leap optimization. And there's going to be a bunch of different stuff on here. You can check out this leap setup assistant, which is something that I did. There are a few things that you can do to optimize your site and levers that you can hit and things to figure out exactly how to make your site faster. And these are things that you can do yourself. I had to watch a video to figure out which ones are the best ones to keep on and which ones are the best to keep off. But if you just have Leap Setup Assistant, figure it out for you. It took a while for that to actually, someone to actually go through my site and say, okay, this is what you need. But once that is done, you can just say, yes, I want to use these settings. 
They're going to have you check your site to make sure that it still runs properly. And then they're going to activate the settings that are going to be best for you and your website. The most important thing here is these recommendations right here. And this is what I went through to speed up my site. So you can see it says Elementor is extremely detrimental to your performance metrics and should be removed. It tells you this is how domains performed significantly worse when they had it. And then you can view alternatives and it's going to tell you which ones that you can use. Pretty much anything that you add onto your site is is going to slow it down. So you kind of just have to weigh the pros and cons of how does this affect my site? Do I prefer to have Elementor on, which is how my homepage is run? Do I prefer to have this plugin, even though it slows down my site? There's a lot of decisions that you have to make to determine is this worth keeping? And for me, Elementor right now is worth keeping. But if you don't like it, you can choose some of these other options here. And there's a ton of pages. They go from fast all the way down to severe to not recommended, but you could still technically use them. And then if we go back, YouTube, that's slows down people's sites severely. I think personally having YouTube videos on my site is worth it slowing it down. Tons of stuff that you can look at on here. I love that you can click on it and say, okay, here's what we recommend that you do instead. Here's plugins that you can download. Now I wanna talk about the different plugins that I switched out based off of this Zoic Leap tool as opposed to what I used to have to make my site faster. The first one here is disable and remove Google fonts. I installed this one because there are apparently a lot of fonts on my site that were loading in the background that I wasn't actually using that Google was just kind of keeping and it was slowing my site down. So if you install the plugin, it will get rid of those and it will speed your site up. Guten TOC is another one that I downloaded. I talked about this a lot and all of these in detail in my plugin video. So if you want more information on this, you want to check out the video up there where I go through every single plugin I have and why I have it. But the Guten TOC, why I have that one is I used to have a different table of contents plugin, but it made my site slowed down. And this is essentially just another Gutenberg block, which is the block editor that I use to write all of my blog posts. That has sped up my site a lot because it's a block as opposed to to a plugin that has to load a bunch of CCS and files and other things or whatever it has to load. This makes it faster because it's just a block. Malcare is the protection that I use for my WordPress site as opposed to WordFence, which is what I used to use. Azoic said that plugin is going to slow your site down. Use this one instead. Sassy Social Share is another plugin that I just downloaded. It basically puts share buttons on your site so people can share out your content. And I don't remember what plugin I had before that, but that one was the one that was recommended to me. Another thing that I want to show you guys here is one of the other features you can get with Azoic. I have an Azoic extension installed onto my Google Chrome so that when I click on it, I can click on this leap feature and it will tell me any alerts that I have on my site, things that I need to fix. And the LCP, which is the largest contentful paint, this is actually what helped me figure out what in the world that actually means because you can click on the highlight and it's going to highlight the largest thing that it needs to load. So basically whenever somebody goes onto your site, the first thing that they see before they even scroll, what is the largest thing that needs to load? How long does that thing take to load? That is what the largest contentful paint is. And of course, as I said, if you want to learn more about the plugins that I've installed, check out this video right here. Make sure to like if you like and subscribe to my channel down below if you're new here because it really helps me out and I'll see you next time. Bye.